Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite person who has no idea what he's talking about. Obviously, Gardner. So today, because I have no idea what we're talking about, I'm actually going to talk about Linux gaming. What? What? Yes, because I'm still quite interested in that. Uh, so uh, we're going to talk about Heroic Launcher, which is like an open source alternative to Epic Launcher. Um, now, I don't have a lot of uh, games on the Epic Launcher. I think I have like two or maybe three games that I got for free. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to go over how to install it. Now, I use Manjaro, so I'm actually going to download it from the AUR. But if you use a different operating system, a different Linux distro, there's links in the description. There's an app image available. Uh, there's dev packages and a couple others. So check that out. Uh, how to use it. Download and install packages to your distro or the universal app image file on the releases page. If you use Legendary before, it loads your library and installed games. If not, uh, it will ask your, uh, you for your first login. Just follow the instructions. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to open up the uh, Manjaro Software Center. And then over here, uh, you can see we're going to type in Heroic and hit enter. And there we go. Um, now, you have to make sure that you're going to enable AUR here. So you want to open up your preferences, go to AUR and enable it. Um, you can also check for updates, um, which actually, I don't know why I'm not doing that. All right, cool. So we have found Heroic Launcher here. Now there's the Electron version. I mean, it's all Electron, uh, but we're going to go with the newest version here. Um, you just hit build and hit apply. And this will take a hot second to install. But once it's done, we'll actually be able to launch the app uh, and sign in to Epic Game Store. I just realized my hair is a huge mess. <laughs> I don't look at myself in the mirror before I start recording these. So uh, you're welcome. There we go. All right, so let's launch Heroic Launcher here. Sweet. In order to be able to log in and install your games, you first need to follow uh, the steps below. Open Epic Store here, log into your account and copy your SID information number. Um. Okay, so let's do that. So sign in with Epic Games, I believe. Yeah, let's log in. You know, it always bothers me when uh, two-factor authentication is like with an email address or, or with a phone number. Like, it should be like, uh, you know, one time, like OTP apps on your phone or something, or even on your desktop. Oh, hello. All right, so we copy this ID number and we go back and paste the ID in here. And then we log in. Wow, that's actually really convenient that it like that link actually takes you to an uh, API that just gives you an, uh, your IP address or your SID information. That's pretty cool. So the only games that I have available are Fortnite and Unreal Tournament. Because <laughs> I don't use Epic Game Store. Um, and I pretty, I think I did use it once. I had to install it through Wine so I could get like something going on with Unreal Tournament. But uh, yeah, let's try, let's try installing Unreal Tournament. Um, install on, uh, default path is fine. Now it's going to take a, a, a moment here. I don't know. That's 27 gigabytes. Oh, I got fast internet. It's fine. Uh, but let's see what else we can do here. Um, it doesn't look like you can actually like buy games here. Um, and it also is using wine, but you can use Proton. That's pretty sweet. But while that's installing, let's actually take a look at their README file. So we can see there's, there's screenshots, which is, you know, pretty bog standard. So the features that are available right now, uh, log in with an existing Epic Games account, which is nice. You can also log out, which is you would expect. Uh, see your personal game library, install and uninstall games, import uh, an already installed game. Uh, which is from Legendary, which is the, the thing that this is actually based on. Uh, multiple installations of the same game, which is really nice. You're able to play this with uh, the default Wine or a different prefix. Uh, you can also play with custom versions of Wine, including Proton, but this can lead to bugs. Interesting. Uh, run games on custom Wine prefix. Uh, check basic information about your games. Open game page on Epic Store. Search for the game on ProtonDB. That's really nice. Sync installed games with an existing uh, Epic Games installation folder and sync saves uh, with the cloud. Very nice. Uh, they want to be able to verify installed games, uh, update installed games, get the free games uh, of the week, add games outside of Epic Game Launcher and integration with other stores. That's really cool. Now, uh, you can actually see that they have 
Deb RPM Pac-Man app images and Tar XZ, um, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and actually, you can find the releases on their release page, which I, I, there should be on, on a GitHub profile. There should be a, like a releases up here, but it's actually over here. So if we go to releases here, um, progress information on the card. Oh, cool. Uh, added uh, info about the download size of the game while downloading. Added the ability to update a game before launching it. Added a better filter for the library when down with downloading on it. And added wine and wine tricks as dependencies from Deb RPM and Pac-Man packages. Oh, cool. That's a, this is actually really nice. This is the kind of thing you would expect with a with an open source. Uh, project is like it tells you the executable that it's going to run and we're over here configuring our wine prefix now i'm pretty sure it said that you can actually use different prefixes for different games i'm wondering um where that's going to be let's put that up here settings epic games check let's go to settings ah yes per game wine prefix i'm hoping Okay, download the wine mono installer. Uh, use game mode, feral game mode needs to be installed. Oh, cool, so you can use feral game mode, which is good for, for, for running your games faster. I made a video about that quite a while ago. Show FPS, uh, cool, so um, I'm, I'm digging this, really. I'm hoping that, uh, oh cool, and it has Lutris too, well, the game crashed, <laughs> uh, has encountered a serious problem and needs to close. That is like hilarious looking to me. It's very, very Windows. Okay, well, I, I love that it pulled in the glorious egg roll build that I got for Doom Eternal. Like, that's pretty cool. It pulled that right in. Um, is this my regular settings or is this the game settings? So if I click on, if I go up here to settings, we're using Proton, but if I go here, wine, oh, oh, something happened. We're using default one. Okay, so that is a per game setting. That's pretty nice. Let's try playing this again with Proton instead of wine. Um, is it gonna have to reinstall mono again? Nope, hey look. Unreal Tournament pre-alpha. Hey, 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 Now, I know that there is a native Linux build for this, um, but you have to, like, sign up for the Epic Games forum and, like... Holy Moses, there hasn't been a new release since 2017. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I feel like the resolution is wrong. Uh, system. Oh no, that's right. It's just ugly. That's, that's the problem. Um, graphics. Epic. Let's just put it on epic. Everything on epic. Play, play, a quick play Blitz versus AI. Yes. Let's just play normal. Okay. Flag at bridge. Flag in creek. What? I must break you. I think we're still compiling shaders. That's why it's. Uh... I'm going in. Fort flag and fort. Why is this? Three like... minutes remaining. Team scores. What? What is even going on? This is like this is Fortnite crap version. I don't remember this. Maybe it's been a while since I played uh, this version of Unreal Tournament. I am on the blue team. What's with the like the six different announcers? <laughs> I'm really bad at this. I'm confused by this game mode. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done with this. How do you quit? There we go. It's funny to me that my my. Linux instincts is uh, <laughs> type exit in the in the console there. All right, so quite an unpolished and old school game, if I'm being honest. I mean, 2017. It hasn't gotten updates since then, but still, 
pretty cool. Um, and you know, if you have a if you have games in your Epic Games library, you can uh, play them through Wine or Proton on Linux using Heroic Game Launcher. That's freaking sweet. I just want to take a second and thank my patrons, without whom I would not be able to do this. So thank you guys. It really means the world to me. If you believe in the work that I do, uh, you can help support the show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon. Uh, there's a link down below. But I think that's it. But thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Do you think uh, Heroic Game Launcher is pretty cool? Let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate hearing from you guys. Um, but no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or hit that subscribe button, I just want to say thanks and have a blessed day.